Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So every once in a while I like to do a little experiment. In today's experiment, I'm going to try to turn this Dell laptop into a MacBook Pro. So I'm going to take this Dell Latitude 5590 and turn it into a MacBook Pro, if it's possible. So what I'm going to do is take out the original SSD drive that's in there now and I'm gonna put this one in there, a brand new SSD drive that has nothing on it. So I wanna keep the files and everything else that's on this SSD. That's why I'm gonna take it out and put this one in to do my experiment. And the tools of my trade is the actual iFixit kit that I featured in one of my previous videos. So check out that video if you can. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and uh, like I said, remove the original SSD drive that's in there and put this new one in. So let me go ahead and do that right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I got the cover off, I already located the SSD drive. It's right over here in this spot. There it is right there, so it's just under that cover. So I can peel this cover off, put that to the side, and then I'm gonna remove this SSD drive. This is the SSD drive right here. So I removed that little screw that's holding it in place and all I have to do is just pop it out. And there it is right there. Okay, so all I have to do now is try to put this back into the slot that the old one came out of and it's got these grooves here along the bottom. You can see these gaps. So all you have to do is line that up with the spot that is supposed to go back in, slide it in, and then all I have to do is push it down a little bit here so it snaps in place. Then the last step is to actually put that screw back into that spot so it holds it down. It's that simple. So now we can put the cover back on and then we're going to try to install the Mac software on this Dell. So now that the screen come up what we're going to click on is the disk utility. Click continue and then we're going to go to the disk that we're trying to install the software on which is this SSD drive and we're going to click erase. We're going to name it then we're going to make sure this is journal yes and then we're going to make sure this is right yes then we're going to click erase. Now that we're done we'll go out then we're going to say install Mac OS. We'll click next agree agree yes we want to install it on this disk because that's the ssd drive install and then we're just going to let it go through the process of running the installation okay so the good news is i was able to install the mac os mojave on this dell laptop problem is there's some missing stuff that doesn't work like the built-in keyboard and touchpad is not recognized. So I had to hook up an external keyboard and mouse because none of that stuff worked. So in order to actually move the pointer around, I had to connect an external USB mouse because all the USB ports work. That's a good thing. That goes also for the keyboard. I had to hook up an external keyboard to the USB port. The Wi-Fi is not working, so I can probably hook up an ethernet cable and get the internet to work. Also, there's no audio. As you can see, it says no audio device. Okay, so here's the final verdict. I was able to install the Mac OS Mojave on this laptop, but there's a lot of kinks involved. Like the sound is not working, the ethernet's not working, so I can't get on the internet, the Wi-Fi doesn't work, a lot of things doesn't work. But this experiment was just to see if I can actually install the software on this laptop. But bear in mind that there's a lot of things that's not going to function. But now there's a lot of workarounds. Like you can get a USB keyboard, a USB mouse. You probably could get a USB Ethernet. And you can get a USB sound device to get the sound too. So there are workarounds. But you would end up have to have a stationary laptop and not one that's portable. Unless you plan on lugging all that stuff around just to make it work. All right, so just want to run this experiment. It works as far as installation, but you have to go to a lot to get a full functioning laptop. 
Other than that, I wouldn't even attempt to do this thing because it's not gonna get you what you want. So you're better off just building a Hackintosh desktop and don't worry about trying to make one out of a laptop because it's functional, but it's not portable. Anyway, thanks for taking the time for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel and you like these little videos that I'm making, subscribe to it. Look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.